Hi, welcome to the session SAP IS Retail Solution Overview and Training. Let me begin the session with a brief introduction about myself. I am Simma here, a postgraduate in engineering MTech with over 10 years of consulting and training experience in SAP technologies that include SAP Sales and Distribution, SAP IS Retail and SAP IS Utilities. Over these years I have been involved with transfer of knowledge as per industry requirement to over 2500 aspirants and professionals that include both in-house and corporate. These training programs cover skills in configurations, integration and consulting including the SAP project environment with coverage on technical aspects related to ABAP. The training programs are designed to cover all the functional aspects of the module or industry specific solution that are critical in the industry and more than adequate coverage of real time scenarios and business process. These programs are delivered in a very high clarity verbal and presentation and also fully supported with the documentation. I also have over 15 years of experience in logistics that include sales and marketing and business development in varied industries like air conditioning, industrial batteries and vitrified tiles. Let me begin with a brief idea about the course that we have with us. The participants who are going to participate for this training program would be SAP practicing consultants from SD module or MM module. The professionals who want to attend the training program can also be the end user working in end user environment where SAP retail is the solution or it could be also retail professionals we have the domain knowledge in retail but with a prior exposure to either SD or MM module. The course duration would be for 50 to 55 hours and the session, each session of training program will be one and a half hours to two hours. The participants will also have access to the system to practice the configuration and the training program will be fully supported with necessary documents which I also support which I am going to elaborate towards the end. Now let me begin with a basic introduction about what is retailing. Retailing is a branch of industry where the sales occur to the end consumers, the sales occurs to the end consumer. We can say that retailing is the last chain in the supply chain management right from the vendor the article comes into retail organization presented for display in a retail store and then ultimately sold to the consumer. Now industry, retail industry is growing by leaps and bounds, it is one of the topmost industries in each each of the countries globally and today retail business has become very dynamic, very complex and require proper IT support to run it very efficiently and also to reap the benefits of technology. Coming to SAP Retail, let me start introduction about the SAP Retail solution. SAP Retail is an industry specific software and ERP solution for vertical industry in retail. It's fully integrated, comprehensive ERP solution for business in retail industry and it is very well suited to both small scale and medium scale and also large scale enterprises. The solution can be used to map all the proprietary business scenarios, business processes and business functions that form the operations of a retail company. The solution provides a complete fitment for all the divisions in retail company which is typically food and beverages, hard goods and apparels. The solution is highly customizable to suit varied requirements for the global retail companies. Now we are coming from a background in SAP SD or MM so we are certainly very much aware of the SAP generic ERP. Okay? Now as you know the generic ERP which is EC6 presently is suitable for businesses which have the core business process in manufacturing, trading or service. 
The SAP ERP has three core modules, Logistics, Accounting and HR. The Logistic in turn has three main components which are basically Materials Management, Production Planning and Sales and Distribution. In addition we have Accounting which is again into two modules, Financial Accounting, Controlling and then HR. Now when you look at SAP Retail, the solution for industry specific solution for retail business, it includes all these basic R3 components such as financial accounting, controlling and human resources and all the logistic components like materials management, sales and distribution, also production planning to some extent. But the main heart of the system is a functionality which is specially developed for retailing companies. Okay? These are called IS retail components. So when you look at this, we have all the core modules that you have otherwise in generic ERP, but there are certain typical proprietary functionalities that are available in ISR like assortment management, replenishment planning, promotions and then you have retail pricing, assortment and merchandise, as merchandise category and assortment planning and POS link. These are the specific business process which are to be supported in retail business. So, Finally, I can conclude that SAP IS Retail has got all the core modules that are available in generic ERP but also has additional components in ISR which are designed to meet the specific business processes that occur in retail business. Now SAP ISR components can be broadly divided into following categories. First comes the organization structure followed by master data. Then you have the core retail business processes supported with data distribution. SAP retail system is a data distribution system which have to distribute the data to various other SAP systems which could be SAP BI. It also has to distribute the data to POS, the point of sale. And SAP ISR has a built-in information system, basically an analytical tool for analysis and business data reporting. Now coming to retail organization structure which is basically the enterprise structure. We use almost all the org units that are available in SAP system like controlling area, company code, sales organization, distribution channel, division and thereby sales area. Also shipping point for distribution center and the main procurement organization, purchase organization. But there are some major differences. The division in the SAP retail system is more or less a dummy entity. The functionality of division is basically used to create the sales area which ultimately is required for mapping the customer master and also the billing data. Okay? But otherwise division has no specific role other than forming the sales area. The sales organization distribution channel combination the distribution chain plays a vital role. It is one of the very important data retention level. It is used throughout SAP IS retail system. Whether it is assortment planning or pricing or assignment to the sites etc. Distribution chain becomes the most important part of the enterprise structure. But what is left out here is the plant. Okay? We do not have anything like plant in retail business. Instead of that we have something called a site. Okay? But the site is not maintained in enterprise structure. It becomes part of the ISR master data. So I will be discussing about the site separately. So site alone comes separately as a master data. Now SAP ISR has got a very elaborate master data which forms the basis of transaction processing. The typical most important master data I would list out as site master the merchandise category master data, MC hierarchy if required for reporting purpose, the article master, the article here refers to the product that you sell in retail business, EN management, the European article management basically for the barcode management, vendor master for procurement of the articles from the external source, the customer master, the customer master comes into picture here for site as a customer and also the external customers. The external customers could be the customers who buy with the points or it could be a wholesale customer or it could be an anonymous customer. 
most of the customers that you buy in the retail will be anonymous customer. Another very important part of mass data would be the retail pricing and classification. Classification is very vital in IS retail. We use classification to group various entities. We use classifications to group these sites for promotion, for merchandise assortment planning, or you can also say for merchandise distribution, etc. Another very important proprietary mass data would be the assortment. The assortment forms the heart of SAP retail system. The assortment is a logical object which has got the articles and assortment as a user. So this part I will elaborate subsequently. Then we also can maintain promotions that happen in retail business as a mass data and based on the promotions you can do various subsequent planning. And then in seasonal products we have something called markdown planning for automatic markdown of prices depending on how the season progresses. Let me start with the site master. When you say site it refers to the highest logistic unit comparable to plant in generic ERP. The site has got all the functionalities of a plant that is inventory management, purchasing, the inventory management, purchasing, then you have the what you call the delivery part, logistics execution, etc. But depending on the operations or the role they play in the retail business, site can be broadly divided into two categories. We have something called distribution center and then we have something called store. When I say distribution center, it refers to a site which is involved in procuring the articles from the vendor and it also does put away with the articles. That means the stocks can be maintained in the distribution center but no actual sales could happen to the consumer from the distribution center. However, if the business is also doing wholesale, then distribution center can possibly sell to the sales to wholesale customers. Otherwise, distribution center will act as an internal vendor to the store. The store is also site, the physical location where the articles are displayed and ultimately sold to consumer. But the stores will procure internally articles from distribution center. So distribution center procures the articles from the vendor and the store will procure the articles from distribution center. Now sites are not created in enterprise structure, rather they are created in easy access as a part of master data. To create a site we have to configure a very important IMG control which is called site profile. We have to configure site profiles for distribution center and also for store. When you create distribution center, it has the data which is required for the site operation. Apart from that, the distribution center will also act as a customer and also act as a vendor. Whereas the store will have the store data and apart from that it will also have store acting as a customer. Coming to article, the product that you sell in retail is called article. Then the article master creation can happen only in SAP retail system. We cannot create articles in generic ERP. Now there are a lot of dependencies which will come into picture which you will understand during the training program. To create an article we require something called article category. This article category again can have various kinds of categories like single articles, sales set, generic articles, pre-pack articles, display articles etc. This dependency is not there for general material. To create an article, we also require merchandise category, which is again a mandatory important parameter. And also, when you create an article, we have to specify the vendor. So, creation of article master is entirely different as compared to a master record what to do for general material. But article master can be thought of as a complete integrated data system, which has all the data which is required for retail functionality. For instance, when you create an article, we do assortment planning, we maintain the purchase data, we maintain the sales data, we also maintain logistic DC data, which is the data applicable for article at the DC level, distribution center level, and also data which is applicable for store level. So the article master forms the most important mass data in IS retail system. Then we have another very important mass data, which is called merchandise category and assortment planning. We have something in the business called category management. Typically in a business there will be category managers who will look after the particular category. The category basically consists of articles which are similar in nature, which have the same business 
properties or the data okay now based on the category we also build up the next important part of the uh, mass data which is called assortments inside assort we have assortments into two categories again the local assortments where each site will act as a local assortment we also have what is called general assortment but whenever you have an article the article has to be listed to assortment so during the course of our learning we will understand how the article can be listed we use something called listing procedure how to configure the listing procedures and when you do the listing what happens to the article there are certain listing conditions what kind of listing conditions are created and how important they are for doing the business process so these are the some of the very important key factors we will be learning during the course of our training program now coming to the next important mass data is retail pricing the main focus in retail pricing is to calculate the price at which the article will be sold in retail business at a store level to do this we have to integrate the pricing that happens on purchasing side and the pricing that happens on the sales side okay so we will be learning a mechanism called step 1 and step 2 pricing in which we will bring into activity the purchasing schemas and sales schemas okay like it that means we are going to use again condition technique here as we use in mm and sd module over and above the condition technique we also have other parameters like pricing type and assignments pricing documents how to configure the pricing document along with the list view and the list field so pricing in retail has basic condition technique apart from that we have so many other factors which will be included to calculate the price of an article at the store level the promotion forms the next important mass data the promotions are the activities that keep happening in the business on a regular basis so the head office will create the promotion mass data in the sap system and based on the promotion we come to know what articles are listed for the promotion what is the duration for promotion how to source these articles from the which vendor how to activate the revised prices for the promotion all these process will happen based on the the promotion mass data we also use promotion as a starting point to do the various subsequent business process like allocation of articles to store how to purchase it from the various vendors and then based on that the business process like purchasing stock transfer coach receipt all these will follow based on a promotion so promotion is an important data which is created on a regular basis in system and ultimately will download all this uh, promotion data to pos system now what is pos i'm going to explain in the subsequent slides now coming to core business process sap retail core business process can be classified as purchasing when you say purchasing again here you have actual purchasing and internal purchasing actual purchasing will be involving purchasing from an external vendor and these articles will be delivered at the dc level distribution center and subsequently the store will procure the articles internally through stock transfer from a distribution center inventory management is done at the dc level and also at the store level the article receipt and article issue inventory management we have two two kinds of inventory management which are possible inventory management by quantity and inventory management by value okay so inventory management by value is an extra thing that is available in isr invoice verification as a part of the procurement pay cycle how to do the invoice verification merchandise distribution is a proprietary business process that is possible in is retail merchandise distribution will involve what kind of articles can be purchased how much to be purchased and who is the source for the purchasing and how articles will be received at the dc and ultimately how they will be distributed to the stores requirement planning is the most important activity business process in is retail the requirement planning is supported basically based on consumption based planning what you have in typical sap mm activity we also have something called replenishment planning the replenishment planning is devised only for is retail to be used at store level we have promotion planning the data part and also data distribution that is integration of sap is retail system with pos so these are the some of the core business process that we have to configure and then see how they actually work in sap system now coming to merchandise distribution 
will be configuring the allocation rules and allocation tables. Allocation tables are used for push method where a new article is designed to be purchased and then ultimately pushed to the stores. We also use the pull method to pull the stock transfer purchase orders from the stores and then based on that plan the external procurement. The MC distribution supports three types of models for article inventory at the DC level. We can use cross dock method, we can use flow through and then put away. These will form the most important configuration as per the business requirement. Now finally coming to the point of sale, the stores will be having a local software which is basically used for billing purpose and also for inventory management. This software is typically called as point of sale but the POS will have to receive the starting data and also on a regular basis from the main SAP system, SAP retail system. So SAP retail system can be called as a head office software whereas POS can be called the department software or the software which is basically running at the store level. But both are physically separate but they have to be logically connected so there is a data distribution happening from SAP system to POS system and also from POS to SAP system. In order to do this we have to configure the outbound profiles and inbound profiles. These profiles will be maintained in the site master that is the DC master and also store master. Apart from this we have to understand the concept of ELA and IDOC management, the basic configuration that is involved in application link enabling, what kind of IDOC types and message types are used in data distribution like we have an article type, IDOC type, we have got a merchandise category, archetype, uh, IDOC type. So configuration of the what you call the partner profiles per store, what IDOS can be sent and what IDOS can be received. This also will form the basis of our learning exercise. So basically we will be concentrating on two things, POS outbound, how to send the data, initial outbound, what happens before go live and also on a regular basis what data can be sent to stores. And also POS inbound process where the data will come from POS and how it will lead to the background business process that are mapped in SAP system like automatically creating the billing documents, updating the FI and also updating the inventory and then article MM FI integration. So these also will form the basis of our learning process. So coming to the documents that we can provide you for training program, I will be providing you all the basic documents that are essential to understand the conceptual part of SAP IS retail system the best business process documents that are available from SAP and our regular classes online discussion will be covered through Microsoft document along with the screenshot so that it can provide you a step by step method of doing the configuration when you are actually doing the practice. Okay. Apart from that I have collected a lot of real time project documents basically the scenarios to understand how actually it happens in different industries. So these also can be used as part of your learning and also when you do actual practice you can understand the relevance of the SAP IS retail from the actual business point of view. So the training program will be meeting the functional requirements of IS retail with complete overview of retail functionality, the integration with MM, integration with FICO, integration with the SD module and also integration with the POS system. SAP has got the PS simulation tool available in the system so that we can understand how the inbound process happen and how the data can be processed actually when the data comes into SAP system. So this is the basic overview that I wanted to share with you and I must tell you SAP retail system is very interesting uh, solution to learn and also to practice. Okay? I hope I have clarified the, I have basically given the basic information about the SAP retail system and depending on your uh, other points to be discussed, I can take a call separately. Thank you very much and we look forward to see you in the training. Thank you.